In this video, we're going to discuss an alternative algorithm for finding a minimum spanning tree. The previous algorithm that we discussed was Prim's minimum spanning tree algorithm. The algorithm we'll discuss here is called Kerskel's minimum spanning tree algorithm, and it works a little bit differently. To set up the problem, I have collected all of the nodes down here. We'll be using those and developing sets from those nodes. And I've also constructed a list of the edges in sorted order based on their edge weight. We're going to begin the algorithm by looking at the minimum weight edge in the entire graph, which has V6 and V7. So we're going to take V6 and V7 and move them off on their own. And they're going to group them together into some set. So we group these things together into some set over here. And we're going to add those to the minimum spanning tree. So we're going to add V6 and V7 and that edge that we just discussed to the minimum spanning tree. Now, what we're going to do is look for the next minimum weight edge. So we remove this from our list. Then we look for the next smallest edge. The next smallest edge is V1, V2. So what we're gonna do is take V1 and V2 and add them to our minimum spanning tree. Notice that they aren't connected to V6 or V7. So we haven't constructed a tree yet. We are just adding edges as we go and eventually we will hopefully have a tree as we do this. We're going to create a set for these two vertices and it is a disjoint set from the one we just discussed. And in our tree, we're going to add V1 and V2 and the edge between them. And then remove that edge from the tree. We're then going to add V1 and V6 according to our uh, list over here. And in order to do that, notice that both of those are already in the tree. So we might need to be careful. We need to verify that we do not create a cycle. To avoid creating a cycle, what we're going to do is we're going to check, are they in the same set? No, they are not. Therefore, they will not create a cycle when we add them together. So we are going to add V1 and V2 to the set containing V7 and V6. So to do that, let us expand this and maybe move these up a little bit to make it look nicer. So we have a new set that has all four of those vertices. We then add the edge between them. And now this is our minimum spanning tree so far. We then want to add V4, V7. We notice V4 is not in the set and it is in a different set, a disjoint set than the set that contains V7. So we're going to add V4 to this set over here. We do that by expanding our little box here, moving V4 up potentially, and then aligning. There we go. And then we add V4, V7 to the graph. So then we color this edge here. And then we remove that from the graph. We then see the next smallest edge is V4, V6. But if we check V4, and V6 are both already part of the minimum spanning tree. And looking at the picture, we see that that would create a cycle. Whenever these nodes are in the same set, adding that edge would create a cycle in the minimum spanning tree. So we ignore this edge for a different reason, so I'm using a different color. Then we want to check edge V7, V8. If we look, V8 is currently in a different set than V7, so it's okay to add that. So let's take V8 and move it into our set and then add the edge between V7 and V8 to the minimum spanning tree. So we add the edge and add V8. So let's mark off V7, V8. We then check V2, V4. We notice V2 and V4 are both in the same set, so that would create a cycle. So we aren't gonna do V2, V4 for that reason. V4, V5, we check, and V5 is in a different set than V4. So we're going to add V4, V5 to the minimum spanning tree. So we add V4, V5 and add V5 as well. So let's move V5 over in the general vicinity and then expand our box and then maybe move V5 up. There we go. Now let's check the next smallest edge. The next smallest edge is V3, V9. And if we notice, Neither V3 nor V9 is currently in the set, so they are going to combine into the same set. 
over here. And now they form a different disjoint set than the one we currently have right behind my head, which you can't see, so I apologize for that. Let me move this up so we can see it better and it's not hidden behind me. I accidentally moved an edge as well, so let's uh, undo that. Let's move this up. Now it's a little bit easier to see, hopefully. Maybe we shrink the box. There we go. Now we need to create that set that contains V4, V3 and V9. And we then connect them with the edge we just discussed. And notice we now have all of the edges, but they are not all in the same set. So we have not actually connected the minimum spanning tree yet. So we do remove that edge V3, V9, but now we need to check the remaining edges. Notice that V5, V8, V5 and V8 are both already in and they would create a cycle over here in this sort of parallelogram shape. So we do not add V5, V8. V2, V3, V2 and V3 are in different sets. V2 is over here and V3 is over here. So we're going to add or combine these two sets. So we're gonna take these two nodes and move them over into this set. We're gonna expand and maybe we align this a little bit better. So let's do that. We make V3 go there, make V9 go there. And then we add the edge between V3 and V2. So the edge between V3 and V2 gets added. And then we now have that every single vertex in the graph is now inside of the same set. Therefore, they are all connected via this minimum spanning tree. So we are done. Notice there was a couple of points where we had decisions depending on the order we sorted over here. So here, we had two edges that were both three. Here we had two edges that were both four, two that were both five, both six, and so on. So it might matter the order you choose. So this is an alternative minimum spanning tree algorithm called Kerskill's algorithm. And this idea of taking sets and slowly combining them is going to be our main motivation behind the data structure called union find that we will see in a couple of weeks as we continue looking at more data structures. So keep this in your mind and we'll flash back to this when we start looking at union find later in the course.